Welcome back into FreightWaves Now in this first carry update of the second hour presented by Uptake. We're going to start off with our weighted rejection index map. And this is one of my favorite maps to look at in sonar because you can really see where capacity is changing in a visual form. What you see, so a lot of the markets here in white, there are areas where capacity may be changing, but it's not very significant based on the market size. So the weighted rejection index is the outbound tender rejection index, the weekly change, Multi the and the outbound tender market share. So it really gives you an idea of where substantial change is happening or significant change. What you really see on the West Coast, you get Seattle up there, that backhaul market naturally, and then color or Denver, Colorado. Those are two areas where capacity is loosening pretty rapidly. Uh, here in, uh, like I said earlier, where you're seeing any tightness is over here across Northern Kentucky, Southern Ohio, Southern Indiana, over into West Virginia, where we saw that weather really hit earlier this week. We'll move on to our next chart here. We'll look kind of at the larger markets, though, because they didn't show up there on the weighted rejection index because there's not a lot of change. I mean, you look here, so in our white line, we've got Atlanta at 5.39%. Uh, in the green line, we've got Ontario, California at 334 the blue line is Harrisburg at 8.7 and Dallas at 4.64% in the orange line. What you're seeing is a lot of this loosening. And not really loosening. I mean, if you look back at where we were, every single market's down. But I mean, we're talking rejection rates where they were close to those 2019 levels. And everybody, we've talked, we hear it all the time 2019, 2018, 2019. We're not going back there because. If you remember, things may have been normal, but it was not a good year for trucking. And I mean, you look at these levels where they're at right now, we're near 2019 levels. And I think that should be, it's very possible that we get to 5%. Well, I don't think we're seeing the downward movement on a national level where we were at 6.39%. I don't think we've seen that hit its floor yet. We'll move on here uh, to our next chart. We'll look at the two markets that we're showing up there in the red on the West Coast. So two backhaul markets that aren't really carrier friendly in Seattle and in Denver. And we look at what's going on in these markets, see rejections in Denver down to 8.85. They were up around 12% this time last week. So a pretty significant downward movement. But 8.85, it's above the national average. Carriers, it's a capacity in that market's a little tighter than it normally is. Seattle, on the other hand, down to 1.6%. So I mean, we're talking one in every hundred loads is being rejected. I mean, carriers are showing that they're just willing to get out of Seattle. And when we get back in our next carrier update, we'll look at lanes out of Southern California into both of these markets and which one may be more favorable for carriers. But right now, we'll toss it back over to Anthony Smith.